Hello guys and welcome back to another Illumicrate unboxing. This is the January theme. The postman has literally just been about 10 minutes ago and I am so excited. I've seen some other people have already got theirs and they're saying that the book is beautiful so I'm like super excited about it. It hasn't come in an Illumicrate box this time. I'm assuming that's because of the size of things that are in this because this is a bigger box. So let's crack this open and have a look. So the January Luma Kit theme is Royal Secrets. I know what the book is, I haven't seen it yet and I'm really excited. So I'm just going to dip into the box and pull out things as I see them. Uh, I'll leave the book till last. So the first item I can see is to a big item and it is... Oh okay. <laughs> it's a We Hunt the Flame themed item and it's a jigsaw puzzle. I love doing jigsaws. It doesn't say how many pieces this is. It doesn't look massive. Like I mean, I normally do a thousand piece jigsaws or five hundred. This looks smaller than both of those, so I don't know how big it is. I'm assuming this is the image that will be on the jigsaw. I'm happy with that. That'll give me something to do. So that is item number one. The next item I can see looks fluffy. Yes, <laughs> it's a pair of fluffy socks. I can't tell what that is. There's something on it. Oh my gosh. Wow, these are so soft. I love, I call these bed socks. I don't know what anyone else calls them, but I call them bed socks, but I don't wear them in bed. So I don't know why I call them that, but I do. <laughs> um, I have so many pairs of socks like that are this material because I always have freezing cold feet. So I'm happy about these. It has something on it. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a little creature and something above it. I really can't tell what this is. I'm gonna have to look at the cheat card when we finish going through the box. Next up we have a necklace. It says from the Never Tilting World. And oh my gosh, it's a spinning necklace. I love things that I can fiddle with. I used to have ne a necklace that was like a spinning thing with gems on uh, that my grandma bought me and it broke because I just wore it all the time. Um, so this looks like it has a spinner. I also recently purchased a spinning, sorry, <laughs> I recently purchased a spinning ring. Um, just I love jewellery that I can fiddle with. I used to have a locket but I used to open and close it too much and that also broke. Um, so. I am so happy about this. It's really nice. You can even, if you don't want to wear this as a necklace, take it off the chain and add it onto a key ring, which is very tempting. Oh, I forgot. It's a double book one. Okay, so we have two books in this box. I don't know what this is yet. It says you're a survivor. I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh, is it a phone stand? So it's... There's, we have two plastic pieces. One of them says you're a survivor on and I'm assuming this goes in there. I, I like it but I don't know what it is. We'll, we'll figure that out. <laughs> okay. We have the paperback book that has come in this month's box. I actually wanted to read this book so I'm really happy about this. Um, and this is The Ivory Key by Akshaya Raman. Four siblings, a country in ruin, one quest to save them all. The cover is so nice. And it has these gorgeous bright blue sprayed edges. It looks like it has a digitally printed letter in there and signature. The author is written, welcome to Ashoka, a land of crumbling ruins, secret societies and ancient mysteries lurking around every corner. I hope you enjoy your stay and remember you get to make your own destiny. It's got this beautiful foiling on the corners as well. This book is so nice. I'm so excited to read this. It says, Vera is desperate to establish her legacy as a revered Maharani of Ashoka, but with the country's only quarry running out of magic, a precious resource that has kept Ashoka safe from conflict for centuries, she can no longer protect her citizens from the looming threat of war. Vera's only hope is to find a mysterious artifact of legend, the Ivory Key. But in order to retrieve it, she must reunite with her estranged siblings who have taken very different paths. Vera, Ronak, Caleb and runaway Rhea each have something to gain from finding the Ivory Key, and even more to lose if they fail. But with each sibling harbouring secrets, the very thing that brought them together could tear apart their family and their world for good. 
this sounds so good. I'm so excited to read this. Um, so it's a bunch of siblings, it's not just a set of sisters. So the other two siblings are on the back. Ah. <laughs> I'm really excited for this book. Oh, this is an awful letter for the ivory key. Oh, okay. Okay, we have an awful letter for the ivory key, which is the paperback. And now we have the book. Okay, this is totally, I think this is very different to what I was expecting. I don't know if I'm kind of mourning the, I liked the cover. I don't know how I'm going to feel, but I really liked the cover of the other book and I cancelled my pre-order. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll see, we'll see. I did, I liked the, the um, roses on the other book. Okay, here we go. Is it the right way around? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is very different. This is very different. I wish I bought the other edition as well. Oh my gosh. The spread edges. Okay. Okay, so we have this blue book and it has gold and silver foiling and little bees on so it says this woven kingdom on the front uh, this is the spine has a blurb at the back of the book and then it has these spread edges <laughs> the spread edges are amazing <laughs> like that's stunning the foiling is nice. I just don't think I was expecting a completely different cover. I thought we were going to have the yellow. I did, I really liked the original cover. <laughs> I thought they were just going to accentuate that more. Um, I do like this. I'm just a bit shocked. <laughs> I'm annoyed that I cancelled my pre-order now and didn't get both editions. Oh well. It is very nice. It's very different. Oh wow, okay, it also has, we have the author letter and we have these end papers, same at the back. I think my other copy wouldn't have been signed though um, and this one is signed by the author. It seems to have these nice little flowers added throughout as well. Oh wow, it has all, I don't know if these are in the normal book or if this has been added, it is very nice. All I will say is I really hope they do matching editions for this because this is the first in a series and if they don't that's going to be really annoying because it's completely different, like it won't match the normal editions. But yeah, it is beautiful. Okay, cheat sheet time, find out what all this stuff is. Okay, so we have the We Hunt the Flame puzzle story, which was this. We have Under the Orange Tree Sock. Oh, inspired by Priory of the Orange Tree. So, is that a dragon then? Under an orange tree? I haven't read Priory of the Orange Tree yet. I don't own it, so I can't read it. <laughs> um, you're a survivor phone holder. Is that the back of it then? Am I being stupid? It is a phone holder, inspired by the prison healer. <laughs> Does this just sit on here like this? And then that's on the back. Oh yeah, that would make sense because when the phone's on it, you wouldn't see it. Okay, it is nice. I like it, but if your phone's facing you, you can't see it. It's very nice, but you're not gonna see the design. Night and day spinning pendant. Okay, I'm very happy with the items in this box. I feel like I will use all of the items in this box where I didn't feel I didn't feel that way about the last box. But yeah, I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy with both of the books. This is just very different to what I was expecting. I re they they need to do matching editions now because I have to have the matching edition. <laughs> Oh, I haven't read you the back of the book. The back of the book says, Clashing Empires, Forbidden Romance, and a long-forgotten queen destined to save her people. To all the world, Elise is a disposable servant, not the long-lost heir to an ancient Jin kingdom, forced to hide in plain sight. 
The Crown Prince Cameron had heard the prophecies foretelling the death of his king, but he could never have imagined that the servant girl with the strange eyes, the girl he can't put out of his mind, would one day soon uproot his kingdom and the world. It really is beautiful. <laughs> the more I look at it, it, it's stunning. Like, the foiling on it is beautiful. The sprayed edges are beautiful. Um, I just kind of, I want both editions. Because <laughs> they're both really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super happy with that. And it's signed. Which I don't think my other, I think the one I, ha I was going to order was not signed. Um, so, yeah, super, super happy with this. I'm so excited for like the next couple of boxes that are due to come out with Volume Crit as well. Like I think the next two books were ones that were on my list. Super happy with this. And that's everything for today guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.